How's it going everybody? I am back and today I've just got a mail day video. I'm going to do an exclusive um, mail day just because this was a, an awesome channel. Tony's a great guy and uh, so I don't want to overshadow uh, his mail day with any other pickups or anything like that or VRs. Um, so this is a mail day that I got from Tony. He is uh, Sensei Domino 15 is his channel. If you check out the description of this video, you will see a link to his channel. And I would encourage you guys to give him a sub. He hit his uh, 200 subscribers here recently and he had a contest. And I was fortunate enough to win the duck race um, to win the contest. So I was pretty excited about that. Uh, this was a great, very generous prize as I'll show you here in a minute. I haven't gone through it yet. I, I did cut it open for the sake of time. And uh, we'll we'll get to that here in just a second. Um, but I do want to start out. I just thought I'd do a Phillies backdrop real quick. The World Series is over. Congrats to the Houston Astros. Um, they were an amazing team. I mean, they were tough. It just felt like the Phillies, the whole series, were just trying to scratch and claw. Whenever the Phillies get ahead, it was just always like you're on pins and needles because their lineup is so good. Their pitching is awesome. Their hitters are great. I mean, it was just a Astros are a tough team. They're 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 awesome, and uh, I felt like you could kind of see the difference. I think they were over a hundred win team, and the Phillies won in the eighties. I mean, you could kind of see the difference. You know, the Astros probably are uh, the better team, but uh, man, it still hurt though. I mean, the Phillies had their chances, and unfortunately, they just couldn't capitalize. Um, I really was hoping for Bryce Harper to get a World Series ring. But I uh, guess there's always next year, so hopefully they can retool and uh, get back again. But uh, I just want to do a backdrop. You know, I'm super bummed they lost, but I love the Phillies. That's my A team, and uh, hopefully next year, man, we'll see where we go. But uh, either way, it was a fantastic year. I mean, you know, they, they darn near had a September collapse again, and uh, they got it together, got hot, won, got hot in the playoffs. They had a Fun run. I mean, they were the number six seed in the NL to get in. They were the last team in. So to make it to the World Series was was pretty awesome. Uh, I hate moral victory, so I'm not trying to sound like a moral victory guy. I'm still bummed. I'm not happy we lost because they definitely had their chances. I mean, they just couldn't get knock, couldn't bring runners in, but it is what it is. Um, I love the Phillies still, so I'm going to do a little Phillies backdrop for this one. Um and uh, yeah, let's look forward to next year, right? I guess as of tomorrow, we're all undefeated. So here's to uh, 2023. So um, anyway, let's jump into this package. Um, I got a little note here from Tony. Um, it just says, uh, hey, welcome back. Congratulations on winning my 200 subscriber giveaway. Enclosed, you will find your prize. Uh, enjoy. I really appreciate all the support you've shown me in my channel. It really means a lot. All the best in the future, and I look forward to seeing the continued growth of both of our channels. Take care, my friend, Tony at Sensei Domino 15. And he signed it, and this is cool. I do got to show this little part right there. Look at that. There's a little domino at the end. That's it's good. I like it. All right, let's dive into this. So it's got a little box. And uh, it was funny. So my kids were watching the... At least I know my youngest was with me. We were watching the boat race when he did the... Uh, the contest and so he showed these cards and then he showed this uh star wars the star wars portion of this and my four-year-old was like are you getting that are you getting that and i'm like oh no he's gonna totally want to hijack this <laughs> this prize so uh he's he's definitely got his eye on it he's in bed right now so i haven't i haven't opened this and busted this out but let me get this out of the bubble wrap here and i will show you guys uh this is cool and I know I'm going to put this up on my shelf. My four-year-old is going to want this so bad. He was pumped when he saw it. So this is uh, the Star Wars. Gosh, I feel lame. Oh, this is the Luke Skywalker figure. And this is this is awesome. But yeah, he saw that on the video and was like, are you getting that action figure? And I was like, uh-oh, he's, yeah, he wants this. So, so we got the Luke Skywalker. Very awesome. That is a... Uh, Definitely as an 80s kid, that takes me back to my childhood when the Star Wars movies were coming out. And, uh, and well, they were out, but that was like when I was a kid, we were into watching those, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So here we go. This package of the cards was fantastic. Uh, I am thrilled to have won this because if you watch my channel, you will know I am a huge um, rookie 
card guy. I'm a big autograph guy, and I feel like this checked a lot of my PC boxes here. So uh, this first little team bag here, I'm going to jump into this. We've got a awesome signed card here of Ron Gant. And uh, that is awesome because I do not have that signed card of Ron Gant. Um, I've gotten him a couple times TTM, but I don't think I've ever sent him the 89 Upper Deck. So I'm thrilled to add that one to my autograph collection. This is really cool. In the package, so I've never seen one of these in a top loader like this. I wish I would have learned how to do this when I was a kid. Because a lot of my mother's cookies got beat up. I left them in the wrappers, but they still got beat up. Bouncing around in my boxes and stuff. We've got a Nolan Ryan Mother's Cookies tipping the cap. So that is awesome. I love Hall of Famer cards. That is definitely going to go into my Nolan Ryan collection. I do not have that one. I've never seen that one either, actually. Um, this was really cool. I was super thrilled to win this. Again, if you guys watch my channel, um, you'll know I am new to hockey. And uh, Shane at Shoebox Legends, I have him to blame for that uh and i say that jokingly shane you're the best man you're awesome um but uh yeah watching shane's channel definitely got me into the hockey uh it got me got got the hockey uh, bug going so we've got a awesome uh, 1991 classic draft picks of zygmunt palfi we have th this card was awesome and and shane just recently did a video where he showed a pickup of the upper deck rookie of Dominic Hoshik. Look at the shine on that. Let's see if I can get that in the light and just see how awesome that shine was. When he showed this, the the light caught that card and I could see the shine and I was like, oh man, that is an awesome card. If I don't win this contest, I'm going to go buy that card because that is a shiny, awesome card of an amazing all-time great netminder. So very excited to have that one. Um, and then we'll just jump right into these others here. We've got, this is awesome. Got a Matt Sundin Pro Set Rookie. Love that set. That's another one. I collected a lot of the football Pro Set from that year and they have the same style and uh, they are awesome. Here's a Jocelyn Thib Thibault, Thibault. And then we have a baseball stack. And these are awesome. So this is cool in a lot of ways because I was a big Kenny Lofton fan. I loved watching him growing up. But the Tucson Toros, I don't know if you guys can see that. AAA affiliate of the Houston Astros. My very first uh, AAA game, we got our, our uh, team here. They were the Salt Lake Buzz at the time. 1994 was their inaugural season. And the first game I ever went to was against the Tucson Toros. Kenny Lofton obviously was not on that team, but they still had these uniforms and those hats. And uh, I remember Ray Montgomery of the Toros gave me a ball and signed it when he was warming up. And uh, I just always enjoyed seeing the Toros after that when they'd come to town. Uh, I did, I mean, I saw Bob Abreu when he was on the uh, Astros system, came through with the Toros. I got his autograph uh, when I was a kid. Um, yeah, several other guys that did go on to play for the for the Astros. And uh, that's, that's just a cool card because of that. I, I always enjoyed the Tucson Toros. Um, this is awesome. 1989 Fleer John Smoltz for my Hall of Fame rookie card collection. Here's another Hall of Fame vintage that will be awesome to add to my collection. 1979 Tops, Joe Morgan. And here we go. The basketball. And if you watch my channel, again, sorry, some of these are kind of moving around. So I'm just kind of tapping some of these down in the top loaders a little bit here. You know, I am a huge basketball fan, and I'm a huge basketball collector. And <clears throat> these are four fantastic cards. This black diamond is a beauty. I do not have this. I've never seen this one before. And this is another one I am super pumped to have won. Um, Tim Duncan, second year, upper deck, black diamond. And that's got some awesome foil shine on it. Really good looking card. 
That is going to be great to go into my Tim Duncan collection. We got Isaiah Thomas, 1990 Fleer All-Stars. Peja Stoyakovich, rookie card from Tops. This dude could shoot the lights out. He was awesome. Jazz ran into the Kings in the late 90s uh, in the playoffs, early 2000s. And uh, they were tough. And they had him and Weber and Bibby. And Doug Christie and those guys, they were they were tough. They were they were they were rough. The Jazz eliminated them, and then they ultimately eliminated the Jazz in John Stockton's last uh season. He retired after they lost to the Kings in the playoffs. And uh he hung it up after that game. So the Jazz and the Kings, they had their run-ins, and so I I saw a lot of Peja Stojakovic. Um he was a great player, so I'm super pumped to have that rookie card. And then here we go, Kevin McHale. 1988-89 Fleer Superstar Sticker, and uh, that is just an awesome card, and that is going to go great with my Basketball Hall of Fame collection. And then as if this all wasn't enough, there's football too. So he hit hockey, baseball, basketball, football, and Star Wars with this. So like I said, this was a very generous giveaway, and uh, I am just thrilled to have won this. So... Um, we have got a Cortez Kennedy Randy White kind of a duo dynasty card here. And this is awesome. Rest in peace, Cortez Kennedy. He was an awesome player. I was too young to have ever seen Randy White play. But uh, I know he was a beast from just reading about the game and about those old great Cowboys teams. But I do remember Cortez Kennedy, and he was awesome. So that is an awesome card. Love that one. This guy is fantastic he is one of my all-time favorite running backs jerome bettis in his notre dame uniform rocking number six the bus um i mean i pretty much watched his entire career from his time on the rams through his time with the steelers and uh he was awesome so i do not have this bettis i'm really pumped to add that one as well um and then we've got an odell beckham is he going to sign with the Eagles? I don't know. I've heard there's rumor the Eagles are interested in maybe getting Odell Beckham. But that is an awesome card. Love LSU's uniforms. I love those yellow helmets. Um, I don't really have an SEC team per se. But uh, if I did, I would definitely think about LSU. I like, I'm like. i pumped for Tennessee right now. It's a bummer they lost today. But I do dig those LSU uniforms. Odell Beckham. Awesome card. Thank you very much. Tony. And then this next one is really cool. Floyd Little. He was great. And this is a 1972 Tops rocking the orange Denver Broncos uniform. Awesome card. Vintage football, man. I love it. I am working on a Tops football set run. Um, in fact, if I move the Skywalker, you can see some of the binders over there. I'll have to do a tour of my card room sometime, but I am working on um, basically I was going to go 1970 to 2015, which was the last year Topps football, uh, had cards. Obviously I'm sure they'll come out again once Fanatics takes over, but, um, I am working on that run and I am getting to the point where I'm about to finish off everything modern. I've got a couple early eighties, a couple early two thousand sets I need to get. I've got the nineties done. Most of the 80s done, and I'm about to dive into the 70s. So that Floyd Little is probably going to come in handy for my set build. So that is all I got, everybody. If you've stuck with me, thank you. Um, go check out Tony. Give him a sub. He's an awesome guy. Great channel. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and listening. Thank you for your support as well of mine. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a great weekend, everybody.